quick look here at the All Black side as they line up with the three new caps, uh, Tuingamata, Preston, and of course Graham Purvis down there in the front row, number three. That's the All Black side for the match of this afternoon. And away we go then in this second match for the All Blacks in the 1991 World Cup against United States here in Gloucester and uh, John Timu playing out on the right wing side today for the All Blacks. A kick from Preston pushing it up. Tuigamal is coming quickly down the left wing side but he's a judge to beat offside by the referee. Well that was a pinpoint kick quickly taken by Basham. All Blacks spinning it out wide early. Now Craig Guinness gets into the gap. Now Tuigamala has a bit of a run. Five metres on the All Black side of halfway. This ball as quickly as possible. They've got it again. Now Innes. Innes hands his man off. Joseph Burke and away he goes. Back to Tuingamala. 10, 22 metres out from the... ...by Paul Sheehy. Now Preston again. Running it out to Tuingamala. The ball popped away. And it was deliberately pushed away. A deliberate forward pass. At least a deliberate knock-on. Basher across to Preston. Now McCarhill getting Inger in on the job. Big power for all. Oh, my word, someone went in and drove it on Twingamata. There's some thumping tackling. Pretty solid so far. Now the All Blacks have a good lineup. Twingamata's who was putting his boot on and has stayed out on the right wing side. Not sure that he's even got the boot on as yet. He's still going. No, he hasn't. Five metres out from the goal line as the All Blacks take it once again into the setup. Played nine games for the All Blacks, but this is his first test match. Their men at this stage, now Basham across to Tuingamala, has his man on, Gary Hine, pushing his way out of trouble, Tuingamala. Look at the strength of the ball. And finally it comes back on the United States side. It goes from Pidcock, and the clearing kick is made by O'Brien. It's not finding touch again. Tuingamala brings it out into the centre field. Good pass to Terry Wright. All Blacks have a show here. McCarhill... And McCarhill gets a high one, I think. Referee said no. No, I don't think it was. Ball channeled nicely. Up it goes for Inger again. Standing in the tackle. Now they've released it up for Michael Jones. Basham straight across for Ennis. Good hands here. Wright gets into the gap. Looking for Timu. Jones was there. Just two metres short of the line. All black forwards arriving quickly. They've got to free it quickly if they can. Feet get to work. Basham. Now Preston. Innes. Popped up again for Preston. Preston trying to run Tuingamata in. Tuingamata tries to snap it up. Lost it behind him. McCarhill carries it on. Got up and got two hands on it. Marvellous exhibition. A of lovely take. Work. Tuingamata does keep it in the field of play cleverly. And away he goes Inga. Straight through the gap he goes. Hands it up to his mate Michael Jones. But uh, the ball didn't quite make it to Jones. And the States have it, but the All Blacks go crunching in. Good open up here, though. Good spot tackle by Tuigamata this time. Ian Jones got that one for the All Blacks. He was still being held down, but he managed to get a hand on it. Tuigamata didn't take the pass. I think it was meant for him, but it was snapped up by Preston. Earl takes it off the back. Wright came looming up. Terry Wright gets himself into the gap. Now Tui Gamala gets a chance to stretch the legs, but the whistle is gone. It was a forward pass. Referee was right on the spot. Clean take by Jones. So the All Black backs have a run now. McCarhill whips it across to Tui Gamala, and once again he displays that immense power that he does have. Now they go blindside across to Tui Gamala. Pushes it away downfield. Sheehy going back to Igamala's coming to him quickly and Preston and it's a five metre scrum good work by Inger the winger here's Inger charging straight in again twisting turning now he meets up with the forwards and secure the second phase ball they have Bashup across to two Igamala. what a good pass from Graham Bashup and Inger completes his first test try so all three test debutants have scored tries today, and that is well deserved by Inga Tuigamala. Blacks, Basham up to Preston. Preston down the blind side, he goes. Nice pass inside. Alan Wetton. This is better stuff from the All Blacks inside the 22 in the form of Ian Jones. Hard defence to get through here. Tuigamala with his strength. Now Innes up for Preston. They're going left and right here. Preston converts the try scored by Terry Wright. Referee looks at his watch, says we'll carry on. 46 points to six. 
And in fact, the whistle is blown. So that is it. It is all over. The All Blacks have won their second pool match here at the Rugby World Cup in 1991 by 46 points to six.